There is no difficulty. Mm -hmm. There is no result. Brilliant entrepreneurs. I work a lot with mentors. Yeah. I have mentors. Financial advisors. You buy shares in the circle and you're able to earn dividends from yeah. the circle. Business development partners. One of the things that businesses go wrong on social media mm -hmm. is they go in trying to sell, sell, sell. The international community. All around the world then. Um, there are all these barriers to finance. Mm -hmm. Not everybody has a bank account, not everybody has identity. Arts, music, sports, culture. We don't need to get back to normal. This is an opportunity to us to look at our society yeah. and how everything is done. And for the first time, government and various government institutions. We have brought all the SME in manufacturing. Yes. And we advocate on their behalf. Yeah. Welcome to Beast Talks Season 2 with MC. morning and welcome to Biz Talks. Thank you so much for your valid company and I hope you're keeping well. It's a bit uh, cold this morning so I hope you can warm yourself up either. I just want to, I don't want to give you options of warm water because when you have Melvin's tea you can do something better with that. <laughs> so you can maybe grab a ginger or something for that case. Now today we have a very interesting conversation. Now listen to this. I read this statement somewhere and I think it's very important. It says this, doing business without marketing is like winking at a girl in the dark. That won't work. And so I hope that today, because in the house we're going to talk about marketing, and guess who is in the house, by the way? The CEO Marketing Society of Kenya. Did you know about that? Now, he's right in the house, and so I'll be introducing him more and more, and we'll be talking about, you know, this whole thing about this marketing society, what do they do, and all those kind of things. But first, let's warm him up. How are you doing, sir? Karim uh, Thank you so much. <laughs> it's good to have you. I know you wanted yes, some warm water, but now I have to give you some Melvins. What are you going to take? Uh, sorry, I think I'll go for this. The tango is easy. <laughs> uh, <probably just laughs> no I worries. No uh, worries. Uh, I normally how, say how that's the choice for many people. <laughs> I know. A lot of men. <laughs> a lot of men. <laughs> so here you go. Yes. You actually just flip it up. Uh, right, Do I top up some water for you? Uh, hot yeah, water? Just hot water, please. That would be good. Do you protect sugar or your, your clean drinking? <laughs> uh, no, I think, let me just have it this way. Just that way, yeah? my throat. Okay. Okay. So there you have it. Uh, we're going to have a conversation about this whole thing about marketing, you know. And uh, on the sidelines before we went live, he said some very interesting things that I hope you will grab and we will have that conversation. So where are you watching us from? Please let us know because we like company, good company. Uh, let us know where you're watching us from so that at least we can, uh, you know, really interact with you. So it's really good to have you Buona CEO, that is Edward Oswe. And, uh, you know, a lot of people who probably could be watching, one of the questions would be, ah, Marketing Society of Kenya. Okay, I have to confess first, I heard about it just the other day. <laughs> so hopefully uh, I, I can as well get to learn. But before we get to understanding the society, I mean the association, let's talk about Edward Oswe himself. <laughs> when people ask, who are you? Uh, who do you, you say you are? Uh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> Edward also is my name. Mm -hmm. um, I'm an IT trained professional, mm -hmm. uh, not a marketer, but I'm a marketer now. Yes. Uh, because of uh, experience yeah. that I've had across uh, various industry sectors. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have a degree of information system okay. from uh, Thames Valley University, yeah. uh, the University of West London, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. I have a master's in applied computing. Yeah from uh, Buckinghamshire New University in UK. Yeah. Um, I've worked for uh, Kenya Rugby Association as the executive officer. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things there. And, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I there. Did people society. even know that there, there was a society yeah. in the library section? Uh, then I joined uh, Marketing Society of Kenya mm -hmm. in uh, November mm -hmm. 2019. Yeah. And up to date, uh, that's where I am. Okay. And, uh, uh, you know, again, uh, I think the people who know the society, Yeah. Uh, uh, I've seen what we are able to, what we've done so far, mm -hmm. and we still have a lot more to do this year. Okay. Planned, yeah. and we've started running. Lovely. Maybe, and uh, maybe something important that I would want to note. Yes. Uh, when we were hit by COVID in 20, 20, 2020, yeah. the Marketing Society of Kenya convened what we call the National Business Compact to help the government mobilize resources. You said National Business Compact? Yes, okay. to help the government mobilize resources uh -huh. by the pandemic. Yeah. And. Uh, MSK was in charge of communication. Uh -huh. uh, most of the adverts you, you could see on the screens, you know, the ATM screens, mm -hmm. uh, the billboards, the TVs, yeah. 
and this is it was supported by the Ministry of Health. Yeah. Actually, it's. Uh, uh, yeah, I think I saw uh, something. Yeah. yeah. So, mm. and we raised a lot of money. Wow. Uh, uh, and we were able to deliver. Mm. So that's what we did for the country in yeah. 2010. Yeah. And um, probably this year again, we are looking forward to uh, launch uh, something similar, mm -hmm. but for a different, uh, 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 for a different, uh, a different kind of. Uh, Agenda, or agenda. Okay. Yeah, about elections. Okay. Uh, because of the messaging that goes out there. Mm. Uh, yeah, and I believe we are going to talk about that. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Very important. Very important. Yeah. Thank you. Because this is a live show, I need to give a shout out to a few people. Where are you watching us from? Thank you so much, Mukwenyi Wasimbiku from Kapsebet. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I hope you're taking your notebook and pen. Get to learn a lot. Samuel Baraka, as always, watching from Nairobi. Samuel Baraka does a very, very amazing peanut butter. And uh, I think recently I saw him being featured in some of the national dailies and all that. Very good. He was here, one of the first entrepreneurs last year, and it's amazing okay. to see him there as well. Yes. So now, yes. let's now get into the marketing society of Kenya. Yeah. And, you know, in a nutshell, what is this? You know, you know first of all, I, I have to confess, anytime you hear the such kind of organization, sometimes yeah. you might end up thinking that's GAVA or something of yeah. that sort. But let me leave it to you to help us understand it. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Marketing Society of Kenya has been there long enough. Yeah. And uh, the marketers in this country, mm -hmm. uh, including the government, some of the industry players, mm -hmm. know about the, the society very well. Yeah. Uh, marketing Society is the umbrella body, yeah. professional umbrella body for marketers in the country. Mm -hmm. uh, we draw membership from individuals and corporates. Yeah. Uh, so, and these membership segments are... are, are have different categories, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. and we also conduct a lot of activities, yeah. conferences, mm -hmm. uh, seminars, yeah. uh, the awards gala, the prestigious awards gala mm. that we normally run on a yearly basis mm -hmm. in December, yeah. where we award corporates that have excelled mm -hmm. uh, in their uh, campaigns promoting okay. their brands. Okay, and that is what we call marketing. So, uh, and uh, something very interesting is that uh, I, I've tried to dig, yeah, just to get to understand when did we start? Okay, when, when was uh, uh, the awards gala started. It's not something I can't get that documentation. <laughs> and, um, talking to uh, serious marketers, senior marketers. Yeah. Uh, I don't know whether it started in 1960s. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's something that we are still looking forward to get to get. No, to that's appreciative yeah. because what you're doing is that you're awarding excellence in the field, in is the it? Field, yeah. Wow. And, and it's very competitive. By yeah, the way. yeah. Yeah. This is annual. Annual. Yeah. We have a team of judges. Uh, you know. We have. Um, uh, Two, I mean, we have uh, two tires of uh, judging. Okay. Mm. So it's something that's that quite is very competitive <laughs> and very thorough. Yeah. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, we are one the best. Wow. We recognize them, and it's also good for them for their businesses. Remember? Yeah. Uh, some of them, uh, you know, about the agencies that uh, yeah. are normally you know pitching for clients. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you can mm -hmm. imagine. Like, oh, we won the awards because of this. Because uh, that that yeah. also places them in a place. Yeah, in of a place uh, yeah. Of recognition. Thank you. Lovely. Um, of course, uh, David Bukese, Nairobi as well. Wangari, I can see you saying that they're saying that we're looking good. Eh? We are. <laughs> we have some Kenyan touch. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I must give a shout out to one of the amazing designers uh, of uh, One Stop Apparel. She's the one who does all these things, you know. Uh, so I'm sure I'll connect you so you can get one as well. <laughs> That's very important. <laughs> Excellent. So um, let's talk about the place of marketing in any business entity. From where you sit, what would you say is the place of marketing? You know, as I started with a statement, I started with a statement that, you know, if you do business without marketing, it's like looking at a girl in the dark. I like that <laughs> statement. But from where you sit, yeah. you know, and you sit in a very vocal, you know, place, yes. what is your take on this? Uh, uh, thank you so much. Mm. Um, and it's a very important question, by the way, yeah. uh, because that is what is failing most of our businesses in this country, wow. uh, those who have not focused mm -hmm. uh, in marketing. Mm -hmm. uh, marketing plays a vital role yeah. uh, in promoting a business, yeah. promoting the vision, mission mm -hmm. of an organization. I yeah. uh, remember, you know, coordinating all this communication material just to push your brand out there. Yeah. So uh, I, I normally see, or that is very practical, we see, mm -hmm. uh, any organization that is not uh, uh, focused yeah. on marketing yeah. would not likely realize mm -hmm. its potential. Mm -hmm. And uh, that would mean probably you cannot sustain the business. Absolutely. Okay, you will not drive the profit. Well, yeah. I mean, you cannot drive profitability. Absolutely. Yeah, so mm -hmm. that's why marketing is very important. Wow. Uh, and um, 
it also depends mm -hmm. on the market segment mm -hmm. where uh, you want to drive yeah. your brand. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, I'll give you a case example. In 2008, mm -hmm. um, uh, during the recession, yeah, uh, I remember the uh, the credit crunch. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, China really was really hit mm -hmm. because they focused. They never focused on uh, uh, on the local market. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. they focused on foreign markets. Foreign markets only. Uh, yeah. this, you know, it's the West that was hit so hard. So hard. We yeah. never realized it here in Africa. We just heard about it. We just heard about <laughs> it. But me, I was there, so I was able to see. Ah, <laughs> you saw happening. what yeah. was happening. Yeah, it was not in Africa. Yeah. So it really affected China. So what I mean here is that um, you really need to identify your market segment yeah. and where they, they reach okay, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. promote your brand. Okay, yeah. lovely. And I like that. So it's very important for you to especially be part and parcel of that. Yeah. So um, I have another quote as well as I was doing my research and I thought, okay, yeah. uh, this is interesting. Yeah. That sell to me without saying you're selling. You know, that statement, marketing, but I think it's also advice in marketing, how it should be done. Yeah. I want to hear your take on that before I get to know other matters. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Probably I'll go on to search about it. Yeah. Now, I do believe, and uh, I think most of the marketers will agree with me, that that can only happen after you've done extensive marketing. Mm. Where your brand is well known in the well market. Known. Okay, yeah. it's now your clients, your customers, yeah. okay, yeah. selling your brand on your behalf. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll give you a case example, although I'm, I'm not going to mention any uh, brand names, uh, okay. any brand name. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think in 90s, in 90s towards early 2000, mm -hmm. uh, there was a beverage company in this country. Yeah. Uh, you know, we could see the billboards everywhere. Everywhere. Okay, yeah. everywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Everywhere you would go, I mean, in a club, uh, you know, in a restaurant, mm -hmm. you'd see that is what people were taking. Yeah. But things changed. Probably they stopped marketing. Uh -huh. They stopped okay. marketing. It's okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 it's, it's very important. Mm -hmm. If you don't do marketing, yeah. uh, your customers will shift uh, oh. because your competitors wow. will be uh, doing what you're not doing. Yeah. yeah. They will be right. So it's, it's, it's all about, you know, that can only happen yes. when your brand is on it well with, mm -hmm. your, mm. with the people. Makes sense. Yeah. So don't stop. Don't stop thinking that you already know. No. Anyway, that's very important. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I also feel there's also a way that, um, and I think I'm talking about salespersons. Yeah. You, I have encountered some people, when, whenever they come to sell, yeah. you want to listen to them. And the others, you already block them even before they come. Yes. And I think that's, that's a knowledge on how you can do that better. But anyway, those are details we can get into <laughs> later on. <laughs> Let me get into another question here. Yeah. So, why is it that every time businesses are cutting down on costs, the marketing department suffers the most? In fact, ah. you find a lot of people who are professionals in the marketing department and they jump left, right and center because, oh, we were sat uh, there and we went uh, there. Now, uh, thank you for asking. I think that's a very big question in the industry. Yeah. And um, we witnessed that uh, during the pandemic mm -hmm. uh, when budgets were being cut by corporates. Yeah. Uh, and also, we get it from uh, marketers. Yeah. Uh, you know, they've been asking, how can we do that? I mean, how, how can we help? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And we've come up with a way of helping them, mm. uh, which I'm going to discuss with you. Mm. But I, I don't know. Is it that they cannot account for the... Uh, you know, for the money spent on the department in terms yeah. of return on investment. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, but again, what the business fail to understand is yeah. that it's marketing that can bring you new business. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, as I told you, you have to reach your clients out there. Yeah. Uh, number two, mm -hmm. uh, marketing would help you build uh, brand loyalty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Through engagement, mm -hmm. uh, you'll find that probably you visit a mall or a shop. Yeah. But the most important thing that they would need from you, uh, probably um, an email yeah. or a, a phone number. Mm -hmm. And the next thing that you'll uh, get from your email or the phone number is about, uh, you know, they want to know more about you or they want you to know more about them. Mm -hmm. And uh, they would want to push some of the products, yeah. new products. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's very important when uh, they keep you. I, I love... Uh, the fashion, yeah, and uh, that's where I normally leave my <laughs> 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 my contact. Yes, yeah. so much. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's something that people uh, organizations fail to understand. Mm -hmm. And you look at uh, uh, for you also to remain competitive. Yeah, you must do marketing. And as mm -hmm. to, I told you earlier before we started the interview, mm -hmm. that uh, yes, professionally marketing must be done. Yeah, 
but it needs uh, each and every person should be able to know how to market more ourselves. Okay. Yeah. I'll okay. give you a case example. You're mm -hmm. going for an interview. What are you yeah. going to do there? You're going to market yourself. Absolutely. You know, yeah. So that you see how you can qualify for the job. Wow. Yeah. And that's it's what actually marketing. People, that's will, true. people will assess you. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the interviewers will assess you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know. And then see whether I'm viable. Yeah. Viable. <laughs> <laughs> now you market yourself. No, you're right. Yeah. So uh, what we've done, mm -hmm. uh, you realize some of these organizations. Uh, the CEOs or the senior leadership mm -hmm. are not into marketing. Yeah. So what we've done as MSK, we've introduced a training called Marketing for Non-Marketers. Oh, so Marketing for Non-Marketers. Non so that we are that. able to train them the critical aspects of marketing. Why is marketing very important yeah. for them and for their businesses? Mm -hmm. Okay, Because it's only through marketing that will enable you to uh, acquire new clients, yeah. new business, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Retain your clients, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. So we've started that, we started mm -hmm. this year, and mm -hmm. this is after, uh, you know, marketers started, uh, you know, asking, uh, mm -hmm. why is this happening, okay? Yeah. Uh, that's one. Mm -hmm. uh, the other one uh, is that uh, we, this year we're going to have a marketer summit. This mm -hmm. is a one-week event. Wow. The first, the, the, the first day we'll be here in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. The reason why... Uh, <coughs> We are bringing international speaker to speak to the leadership, the mm -hmm. CEOs, the directors that we run, uh, that are running businesses in this country. Yeah, is for them to understand entrepreneurship and leadership. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. so that they can also learn the mm -hmm. importance of marketing. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the speaker, the global speaker that we are bringing on board is Vusi Tembekwayo from South Africa. Vusi is a quality man. <laughs> so he's coming here, yeah. and um, we want entrepreneurs. Yeah. Uh, to attend the summit here in Nairobi, the Lovely. conference here, the CEO Symposium here in Nairobi, yeah. so that they get to understand, mm -hmm. to learn, to ask questions yeah. about entrepreneurship. Yeah. So I think that will also help the leadership mm -hmm. uh, understand what marketing is. Very so true. we are trying to address that situation. I like that. Thank marketing you. for non-marketers. And yes. uh, the fact that you bring in Vusi. Vusi is the renowned vocal voice and matters business in this world. Very true. That's a very quality man. Wow. Very true. So make sure you purpose to attend. You said it's around June somewhere it's, there. It's, uh, it will be from June 20th to 24th. Uh, wow. The 20th will be here in Nairobi. Yeah. Uh, we've not decided on the venue. Yeah. That probably is, uh, we're going to decide on that next Soon. week. Okay. Uh, but it will be in Nairobi. Okay. It's going to be... You know, when uh, you, you cannot hold CEOs yeah. all day. So it's going to be like three or four hours with Vusi. Yeah. But we also have the opportunity for uh, people to have dinner with Vusi. Yeah. So that probably you can talk one on one. That would be amazing. Yeah. You know, that and ask be an questions and all that. And then we have now the second day, which will be on 21st. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll be giving keynote speaking in Mombasa. Wow. Okay, where wow. the summit starts. Yeah. This is where we're going to have everyone now, mm -hmm. managers. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's open to everyone. Lovely. Okay, and probably a meeting him on Monday. Mm -hmm. We will discuss about the possibility of also him, you know, having uh, oh, a leadership masterclass yeah. with us in Mombasa. Yeah. Uh, I hope he's going to agree because his charges are quite expensive. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, I, th yeah. I think um, we'll invite, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll let it be known to the people, yeah. the marketers, and uh, also to the country, okay. because we also have media partners that we are working with. Okay. We're going to reach out uh, okay. to them so that at least uh, we are able to communicate about uh, this event. Uh, it's a very big event for us. Mm -hmm. It's the first time we are doing it, mm -hmm. and uh, we want to maintain it as an annual event. Okay. Just the same way we do Lovely. our awards gala. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So one quick question maybe on that is how can, if I wanted to participate, how, how, how do I reach out to MSK? Uh, uh, thank you so much. Uh, you, if, I mean, I mean um, you can reach us via email. Okay. Uh, I think email will allow you to ask questions mm -hmm. and be able to respond appropriately yeah. uh, via info okay. at msk.co.ke. Okay. And probably those, uh, you can also use events. Mm -hmm. At, at msk.co.ke, msk. the two email addresses. All right, there you have but it. But I don't mind. I don't mind people reaching out to me. Yeah, you, I mean, even I mean, you personally and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm hands on, so <laughs> I'll be able to help. <laughs> and anyway, because I also saw you have your handles as well. Yeah. I'm sure if you throw in an yeah, email, you have people on the ground who can at least respond to all those Thank things. You. Wow, I think that's a, that's a rare opportunity because that's one man I follow him, and he's amazing with the nuggets that he gives out. So yeah. that's a quality man. 
So let's talk about, because I heard you speaking when you're speaking about MSK, you talked about capacity building and what you're doing. Of course, I've heard you mention you also, you know, teach marketing for non-marketers. Yeah. So in a way, also for the marketers, you do capacity building. And maybe one of the quick questions would be, why is it important to build this capacity for the marketing industry players? Okay, thank you. I, I think I'll talk about, uh, uh, you know, building capacity for marketers. Yeah. But uh, generally it cuts across... Uh, the board, yeah. across the board mm -hmm. uh, you know you not want to employ someone who is not qualified to do a job absolutely okay? yeah and if you are to do that then first of all you have to uh, train this person yeah and training takes time and yeah. that's why organizations that have invested in training would not want to just yeah. have to leave whether mm -hmm. you put your resignation there mm -hmm. and they will say no please we, we, we want to add your salary yeah. uh, i mean so when it comes to marketers mm -hmm. in this country mm -hmm. uh, uh, we, have, we now have a, a draft bill mm -hmm. because we also want to regulate the industry mm -hmm. uh, uh, that is marketers. Okay. Um, That's interesting. I would want to know that. What yes. <laughs> yes. So, and that does not cut off, uh, you know, uh, people who are not trained marketers okay. and are now marketers. Okay. Uh, they have their space okay. uh, in the bill. Uh, because some people have gained uh, knowledge uh, mm -hmm. through uh, experience, yeah. so we are not cutting them off. So that bill will help mm -hmm. uh, as well in implementing that. Yeah. Uh, I know you'll ask more about the bill. I know. Uh, but yeah. we want to regulate uh, the industry in the sense that having things like an academy, yeah. we need to set up examination board that's covered in the constitution, mm -hmm. uh, in our draft bill. Yeah. We also have. Uh, uh, you know, normally there are, we, you, uh, there, there are disputes yeah. between corporates, especially when it comes to, you know, copyright issues. You're right. On quite a number. Yeah, quite a number. Yeah. Uh, they do reach out to us to mediate. Mm -hmm. uh, that's also covered in the bill. Mm -hmm. So it's a very extensive bill. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, capacity building when it comes to marketers. Yeah. We are the center stage. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of professional development activities mm -hmm. that cuts across. Yeah. We look at all the levels, uh, like for example, junior marketers, we call them executive marketers, the yeah. middle level, mm -hmm. the senior marketers, the directors. Mm -hmm. So we have all these packaged for them, yeah. uh, just to uh, help them build their capacity. Mm -hmm. Because remember, uh, when you are trained or when you attend these seminars, you enrich your skills mm -hmm. and make you become competitive mm -hmm. and also to boost your performance mm -hmm. at uh, the workplace. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, lovely. I think it's important, especially performance at the workplace, because at the yeah. end of it all, people say ROIs, uh, the return on investments, very yeah, important. Not even right? ROI. Uh -huh. I mean, uh -huh. uh, there's, uh, at MSK, uh, yeah. actually what uh, we introduced uh, yeah. when I came is uh, performance-based culture. Even me personally, yeah. uh, annually, they look at my performance okay, uh, with some numbers. <laughs> with some numbers, eh? <laughs> with some numbers, yeah. yeah. So you, you see, I have to... <laughs> trickle the numbers down Absolutely. so that you give me these numbers, give me these numbers, and when I add, I'm able to excel. You, uh, you know, you have touched on a nerve because I've seen, I've, it's been interesting in my head, how do these disputes get resolved? You know, you have, you've said that you sometimes are approached to help out in some of these, these, these disputes. What do you normally do? I know you may not be divulge all the details. Yes, yeah. uh, thank you. Mm. Uh, we have uh, a policy document that okay. stipulates what needs to be done. Okay. We also have a committee mm -hmm. that represent, uh, we have representatives from the industry, various industries, yeah. uh, especially the agencies, the corporates, yeah. and MSK as yeah. the host. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that committee, if there's any dispute, mm -hmm. uh, for example, yeah. uh, you find company A, you know, s you know trying to popularize uh, uh, a painkiller mm -hmm. that it takes, uh, you know, Probably one minute, okay? <laughs> and this is your competitor. Yes. And you have a similar product. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, probably you, you can always do testing because anyway, we sometimes we do uh, get sick. Yeah. This thing is not working. Uh, you it know. doesn't take the so, minute they're yeah, saying, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, that's one of them. I'm just giving you, I don't an want An example. Yeah, an no, example, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so you, you, you can have a, a complainant reaching out. Yeah. Uh, with the reasons as to why you know this and that needs to be corrected, yeah. and then we reach out to uh, uh, the offender now, mm -hmm. okay, and then we try to set up a meeting, uh, and then mediate, okay, and then we resolve it there. The okay. reason why that is happening, it might not be popular, uh, but uh, uh, you know, for you to, uh, to, to arbitrate, mm -hmm. you must go to courts, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And courts are very expensive. You have lawyers there. Mm -hmm. And lawyers will always charge you fees based mm -hmm. on uh, 
uh, you know the level of your organization yeah <laughs> you can right. imagine Absol and they will yeah. milk you they well. will milk you so okay uh, that's uh, that's where we come in fair enough fair enough yeah. let's get back to the smes because you know this show basically we really want to help businesses uh you know become better uh get to learn from one another and when you think about the smes one of the key things that they come here and they feel it's a thorn in the flesh is when it comes to matters marketing especially for SMEs, because they would want to reach as many people as possible. So my good question to you would be this. So why, why is it a struggle, first of all, uh, for SMEs, and what can be done to help them? Uh, thank you. Mm. I, th I think um, it's, it's a very important aspect. Yeah. Marketing, as I said earlier, mm. uh, that it, marketing will define a business. Yeah, it will. Marketing will push your product and services mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. And if you don't do marketing, mm -hmm. how do you expect to sell? How do you expect to sustain a business? How mm -hmm. do you expect to <coughs> drive your profitability? Yeah. You look at the SMEs in the country. Yeah. Um, I think according to the World Bank report 2019, mm -hmm. we have over 7 million SMEs in this country. That's big. Uh, you can imagine the number of people that they are employing. A lot. Okay. Mm. Uh, you can imagine the customer base that they have. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can imagine how they also want to reach out to other markets. Yeah. So the challenge is um, marketing is very expensive. Yeah. If you look at the mediums, the mm -hmm. channels for marketing, mm -hmm. billboards, a mm -hmm. billboard would go for around 120,000 shillings. Mm. Okay. That's for a month. Uh, and remember, if you're marketing, marketing must have its period. You, know, yeah. uh, you set a period. That's the strategy. Okay. Are you going for three months? Mm -hmm. And you're going to do it once in a year, yeah. probably. You see some organizations, uh, you, if you go out there, you will see the billboards. You mm -hmm. see they are always there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, their products are already selling, them, uh, selling you know, yeah, very uh, true. without even advertisement. Mm -hmm. But why are they out there? Okay. Yeah, so it's why? very expensive. Look at the TV uh, ads. Yeah. Uh, the adverts that are running on TV, mm. you'll find that uh, it will drain depending on the TV channel from mm. 70,000 to 100 and something thousand, and that is 30 seconds. Okay, <laughs> so you can imagine. And if you look at the SMEs, their, um, their turnover yeah. probably it ranges from three, four, five. Uh, you know, it's not much that can sustain marketing. Much. You're right. So, my advice to uh, SMEs. SMEs mm -hmm. Because remember, they contribute 40% of our GDP. That's big. That's big yeah. if they go down. Mm -hmm. So we really need to come to help them. Mm -hmm. So number one, they really need to consider yeah. uh, marketing as a critical aspect mm -hmm. in their organizations, yeah. in their businesses. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. They might not be having money to employ full-time marketers, yeah. but we have people out there who are already working mm -hmm. okay? yeah. who can be able to provide you with strategies. And yeah. now you, you, you know, you implement mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. you might not be able to go on billboards but what are the uh, the cheapest mm -hmm. uh, channels for marketing that yeah. uh, SMEs can use so they need that mm. okay yeah. uh, I know majority of them just employ uh, salespeople I'm not saying salespeople cannot be able to do strategy mm. okay but that is the role of marketers wow. okay okay uh, because you must be able to uh, drive a product from start to end yeah. uh, developing that strategy the other thing that probably i would uh, advise on mm -hmm. is that um, you know they really need to be educated yeah. and um, i think based on this uh, i know we normally do capacity building we have a lot of activities uh, i'll just note it down and probably now uh, think about it with my team mm -hmm. probably I'll reach out to come yeah. because the majority of them are members of come yeah to see how we can partner mm -hmm. uh, with them in order to train these people on marketing as bring them professionals Absolutely. I think that can be able to boost them but the most important thing if mm -hmm. you cannot be able to afford a marketing budget yeah there are other channels there that you can use to market you're right okay but again as I talked about earlier on I talked about uh, segment mm -hmm. the, the market segment yeah you find uh, I know of someone who uh, was selling milk, so he packaged the milk, mm -hmm. and his market was just the slums, you know. Oh, particular. yeah, just in the slums. Yeah, the slums. Okay. Mm -hmm. And another, uh, then uh, you know, the big guys were not selling now. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? What happened is that they had to convince him, and yeah. uh, he sold it to them. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And that is happening. I mean, some of the SMEs have um, 
leverage on that. Okay. And that's very important. Yeah. So uh, I identifying the market segment is very important. Mm. And then uh, now that is what we call the strategy. Yeah. And that's where marketers come in. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. I think you've seen a lot of good things here that you don't have necessarily to be afraid even when your marketing budgets are not that big. And I think from that example, it means you can reinvent yourself in a way that will make you relevant. Get your target market clean and then hit them hard. You might be called by the big guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I like that. So, um, you know, this is an interesting year because, you know, so many businesses by the way, some of them will cash out well and others are afraid because, oh no, some previous times they lost money, they did those kind of things. And people would be worried because elections are nearing right here. Yeah. And so one of the concerns you did, uh, one of the questions then would be, uh, talking about communication and marketing and election, what should people be looking to do for the people in Kenya, you know? Thank you. Yeah. I think I mentioned earlier about uh, us launching what is, sim what is similar to the National Business Compact that we launched in 2020 to help the government mobilize mm -hmm. its resources in fighting the pandemic. Yeah. We are also looking at that whereby, uh, you know, we want to sensitize people on yeah. election matters, mm -hmm. you, you know, try to change the behavior, yeah. behavior change. It's yeah. the same way, you know, we could see the communication on billboards about behavior change during mm -hmm. COVID-19. Mm -hmm. That's what we want to do. But sometimes um, I do blame uh, the voters, mm. <laughs> uh, including I personally. Yes. We don't hold our people or our leaders to account, to account yeah. for what they've delivered. Mm -hmm. You find uh, someone is being re-elected, okay? Yeah. And we'll still be championing, okay? Yeah. The manifesto. Mm-hmm. Actually, just similar to probably that was used in the last term. Yeah. So you ask yourself, uh, have you delivered? Have you? Have you delivered? So we mm. don't hold them to account, mm. okay? Mm -hmm. uh, you've seen the billboards now. Yeah. Okay? A lot of they them. They started occupying the billboards, <laughs> okay? Yeah. Uh, I was talking to some um, agency that does uh, out of home, the yeah. billboards. Yeah. And uh, I told him, my friend, we need billboards uh, in May and June. Uh, what are you going to do to us? Because I know elections are coming. Uh, and uh, probably we'll have all these people on billboards. Q in, yes. Yeah, so I told him I want to book mm -hmm. early enough mm -hmm. so that you reserve the space for us. Wow. Uh, you see them now. Mm. Now, the messaging is very important. Yeah. And, uh, and that's why, you know, mm -hmm. I really feel sad because mm -hmm. we don't hold people to account yeah. for what they've done. Yeah. Okay, even for what they promised to do. Okay. And if you didn't do it, mm -hmm. you, you don't have to necessarily do, uh, I mean, everything. Yeah. But at least you tell us why you are, you are not able to, to, mm -hmm. to, to, to do it. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's justifiable. So, uh, sensitization is very important. And as yeah. MSK, we, will, we, really, we shall really champion for mm -hmm. uh, ethical messaging mm -hmm. to the electorate. Okay. Okay? Okay. And we shall also sensitize them. Mm -hmm. We are planning to launch this and involve stakeholders, you know, IEBC, you know, Ministry of Interior. It's the same way involved the Ministry of Health during mm -hmm. um, the COVID-19. Mm -hmm. So that is, we are still discussing it yeah. to see how it can be done. And we shall also involve uh, uh, donors as well, those who normally support uh, uh, electoral processes. Yeah. Uh, the Ford Foundation, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, the UK, yeah. um, uh, it's, it's a department called what? Uh, Department of what? International Trade or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we are planning to do that so Lovely. that we sensitize people and people need to uh, know the right messages to read. Uh, remember, we have the social media yeah. uh, that everything is just flying out. Yeah. Okay, with the fair and center. Yeah. yeah. Uh, again, uh, we also need to be responsible, you know, mm. on the messages that we communicate out there. Okay. To so. Uh, you know, you've touched on several things, and uh, there are two things I've picked out. But before I go to that one main thing, talking about this season of elections and, you know, trying to regulate ethical messaging, all those kind of things, is it something that you've also put in the bill somehow? Uh, not really. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, remember we have, there's a commission that is in charge of uh, ethical issues. Yeah, Us is the just Integration a, Commission. Yeah, yeah. Integration Commission. Yeah. yeah. So us, what we want to do is just to sensitize people yeah. as a responsible society. Mm -hmm. That's what we can do for the country. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it's not in our bill. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So my other part was, um, we have seen, and I'm sure you have seen this over the years, new trends that are coming up of marketing. New trends. I mean, gone are the days where, of course, billboards are still there, yeah. advertisements are still there. And I think you mentioned it, that sometimes this 
billboards are not affordable for some of the SMEs. Uh, getting airtime on some of these top TV stations yeah. is, is another story. Yeah. But now we've seen the social media is coming in and all those yes. kind of things. Is there something in the society that you're doing so that if I'm an SME and I'm thinking, okay, I want to do some marketing, and there's this marketing, you know, Association of Kenya, can they help me out? Is there some capacity that you're looking at uh, doing? Th thank, you, thank you so much. Um, it's something that we are thinking about. Okay. Uh, we are ready to work with uh, brands okay. to be able to help them promote their products. Yeah. Although, uh, you know, it might bring friction in terms of, uh, you know, why are you doing it for others and these are competitors. Yeah. Those who already have the capacity to do marketing yeah. uh, on various channels. Yeah. But uh, what we are looking at uh -huh. is also uh, businesses being responsible. Yeah. Um, you know, you find a lot of things online mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. about uh, businesses, about their products, about yeah. their services. And Kenyans have really been crying. You know, people lose money. Yeah. You know, people, some of them don't exist. Uh -huh. So it's also affecting yeah. the credibility of businesses online. Mm -hmm. So what we are thinking about yeah. is can we have a close in our draft bill, mm -hmm. okay? yeah. whereby uh, if you are marketing online, you have a website and all that, yeah. uh, MSK becomes the third party that knows you, that authenticates you. Yeah. So when you see, yeah. and we also have you in our database where someone can reference you. So yeah. we can work with the uh, small to medium business enterprises to be able to help them. Okay. Uh, uh, brands, mm -hmm. we are open. All right, yeah, thank you. That's a good one. Um, now, let me first of all, I almost forgot I have people who are watching. Thank you so much, David Wekesa. Thank you so much, Najma, top fan, Asante Sana, and Telatel, you also logged in as well. And I want to jump into some of the questions that have come in. I think I have two or three. And uh, just giving a shout out as well, some people as well watching. Gashiri, I see you. George as well. They've all been here as well, so they're really listening to you and they want to ask some questions here and there. So it's time for your questions, so send them through before I, uh, you know, almost uh, wrap it up with him. And uh, one of the key questions people are asking, uh, okay, there are two questions here. Yeah. How does one join MSK? Uh, I, I think we can tackle that by the way. How does one join? Yeah. Joining MSK? Yes. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, uh, as I said earlier, we have two levels of membership. Uh, that is individual and corporates, and uh, you can always go to our website that is www.msk.co.ke mm -hmm. and you are able to get the information regarding uh, membership registration. Yeah. And you are actually able to register online, mm -hmm. and we'll be able to activate and communicate to you and give you your membership pack. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Very good answer. There's another question Are there some tips you could share about marketing for an SME today? <laughs> 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 what tips do you have top uh, of mind <laughs> thank you uh, I, th I think uh, thank you so much uh, I'll give one or two uh, but I've mentioned them during the discussion that's okay uh, I think number one look at the capacity that you have in terms of capital are you able to uh, you know to go to the mainstream media that's out of the billboards yeah okay yeah look at the capacity that you have in terms of your budget mm -hmm. look at the capacity you have in terms of people Mm -hmm. who are helping you develop the strategy, mm -hmm. the marketing strategy. Remember I said earlier that mm -hmm. you might not be having enough capital to employ a full-time marketer, mm -hmm. but you can still work with people who are working, uh, driving other businesses mm -hmm. somewhere who are marketers. Yeah. So they will not charge you uh, that much money yeah. uh, to be able to develop for you a uh, marketing strategy. Yeah. The other thing is that, um, uh, as I said, uh, you know, they really need to look at uh, other channels of marketing. Yeah. Uh, you know, they can reach out to MSK mm -hmm. so that we can train them. Yeah. But again, that uh, is an area that uh, probably we'll discuss with CAM, okay. organize a meeting and discuss the possibility of collaboration so that we can be able to train their members uh, okay. because that is where my majority of the SMEs are as members. Excellent. Yeah. There you have it. Okay. Gasheri Thuku, 1960s. Wow. Yes, imagine. It. They have been there since then. <laughs> Gasheri Thuku does amazing products, Sheath Naturals. So instead of using this things you can't authenticate where they came from. Yeah. We have natural products that can make you look good. Okay. Now, George, who's also an immigration consultant, is asking, ask him, the nexus between marketing, media, and PR. Wow, that's a strong term. There appears to be sibling rivalry between marketers, journalists, and PR guys, each accusing the other of encroaching on each other's territory. Hey. Uh, <laughs> thank you. 
thank you so much. I, I think uh, in some organizations, especially in government, yeah, uh, you will not find you'll hardly find a marketing department. Uh -huh. okay? uh -huh. You'll find a PR department. Yeah, depending on what your, your, your what your business objective yeah. is. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, the government would be uh, in mostly. P I mean, mostly what they do is PR. Okay? Yeah, in private sector. Uh, you must or you'll find a marketing department. Yeah. And remember these people, uh -huh. uh, you'll find uh, this communication aspect when you are studying marketing mm -hmm. and they've also practiced it. Yeah. So uh, you would not want to have two people when you can have one yeah. do two things at the same time. Mm -hmm. I don't think there is um, I don't think there is a rivalry. Mm -hmm. uh, I think people need to uh, work together mm -hmm. and people need to understand that things have changed. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, as I said earlier, mm -hmm. uh, it's all about delivery. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's all about uh, you know uh, driving the brand. Yeah. It's all about communicating uh, communication about the brand. Mm -hmm. So people just really need to uh, work together. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. it also depends on the uh, management decision, especially mm -hmm. when you are recruiting. Okay. You're right. You're yeah, right. someone will come in and say, I don't need marketers, I need PR, PR, uh, PR practitioners. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so it depends on the management. They're the ones who decide, okay? What they want. So, yeah, what they want. But again, look at the private sector. You don't always find a marketing department. Look mm -hmm. at government. It's normally a PR uh, department. Yeah. Now, uh, the government started Brand Kenya, mm -hmm. if you know about Brand Yes, Kenya. I've seen it. Yeah. yeah, that was to market um, Kenya. Kenya. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but since probably. Uh, I know the government is doing a lot yeah. in terms of marketing, mm -hmm. but uh, I think that department needs more funding. Okay, a lot they of funding. They need yeah more funding mm -hmm. so that we can be able to promote Kenya uh, globally. We have good products in this country mm -hmm. that we can sell out of the country. Absolutely. Okay? Uh, and uh, we just we just don't have uh, the mediums uh, mm. through which we can be able to reach uh, you know clients or customers yeah. out of the country. Mm. And as I said, uh, because of uh, credibility issues, mm -hmm. you'll find that uh, most of the platforms that are used in the West, yeah. Amazon, uh, you know, wherever, mm -hmm. they, you know, here they cannot allow you to purchase something. Yeah. Because they cannot trace your address. They cannot. They cannot trace your address. <laughs> it's lack of trust. So until we build that trust, yeah. okay, yeah. where we are able to sell things online, yeah. okay, yeah. Uh, to, 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 I mean, to foreign markets, and we're able to deliver. Yeah. Look at Asia, and that's why Asia is booming yeah. in terms of business. Mm. Okay? Look at China. Mm -hmm. okay? mm -hmm. uh, you know, China, I would, term, I would, I would call China as... Uh, uh, the world workshop, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, where <laughs> everything is happening. everything, everything is yeah. That's the, that's the world workshop, yeah. And how are they able to reach out to uh, these other countries to sell their products? Okay, mm. majority of them they don't do it through government. Some yeah. do it through government anyway, the big yeah. ones. But you'll find they are on uh, platforms and they deliver. Mm. Okay, I know there have been uh, challenges, one or two, mm -hmm. but. Uh, always, uh, y you know, the authorities are able to follow yeah. and correct the situation because it also spoils the reputation of a country. Yeah. So until uh, and until we have that, we build that trust yeah. and confidence mm -hmm. when you are transacting. Remember, when you are transacting, you are transacting with, with someone you don't know. Absolutely. Okay? And yeah. this is someone you want to give one million. Okay. <laughs> you don't know this person. And you expect just to believe yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. So until you build that trust, and I think. Um, the big players really need to come in, mm -hmm. the big giants in this country, yeah. the private sector, mm -hmm. to help us build this trust in uh, uh, online transactions. You're right. Uh, especially, you know, you have, uh, you're selling, uh, uh, you know, you're selling something online, yeah. uh, you know, uh, do you really exist, uh, you know. Who are you? <laughs> yeah, who are you? People really need to, organizations need to pass through mm -hmm. some uh, authorities to yeah. be vetted. Yeah. Uh, and we, we are trying to have that in our in our in our draft bill although we don't yeah. know uh, because remember it has to go through parliament okay mm -hmm. and we expect it we expect we expect to deliver it to parliament in the course of this year mm. so and again it can also shift they can tell you no this act or this particular uh, clause is already covered in a particular act of parliament so remove it out yeah so but we are pushing uh, and we are working with very competent lawyers okay. who, who have done a lot of research uh, and we hope that it might correct the situation. Okay. Thank you. Well, because you mentioned government, in your opinion, have they been supportive of the marketing sector? Uh, hmm. uh, in terms of, 
I think that's why I'm, uh, you know, if uh, small to medium enterprises can contribute 40% of our GDP, mm -hmm. according mm -hmm. to the World Bank report uh, yeah. 2019, yeah. Uh, that is something, that's a wake-up call mm -hmm. uh, for the government to see what needs to be done to these uh, SMEs. Okay? Absolutely. Remember during COVID, uh, you know, some money was raised, uh, you know. A lot of money. A lot of money. Some to billions. Help, yeah, to help the mm -hmm. small to medium enterprises. Yeah. Now, the way the government needs to come in is how are you going to help these uh, small to medium enterprises entirely through the country? Yeah. Through some, uh, either through training, mm -hmm. that the government uh, set a budget mm -hmm. through uh, Brand Kenya. Yeah. 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 I think uh, it's now a department under export processing zone, mm -hmm. uh, whereby, you know, SMEs are being trained. But yeah. I do believe CAM is also doing something regarding training mm -hmm. or marketing. Mm -hmm. uh, that's something that um, I will find out to see yeah. how we can work and. Uh, be able to develop uh, uh, small to medium enterprises when it comes to marketing in the marketing. Okay. Yeah. So uh, one more question, then uh, we're almost coming to a close. So if you have any question, you better throw it now. Kevin Wabungo is asking, do you have training for SMEs? <laughs> Sorry? Do you have training for SMEs? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, number one, I would urge uh, Kevin? entrepreneurs. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. Kevin. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I believe he's an entrepreneur. Mm. Uh, we are looking forward to have the summit where we are bringing a global speaker, yeah. someone, an entrepreneur, a mm -hmm. global speaker, mm -hmm. someone who, uh, you know, uh, brush his shoulders with uh, uh, with who and who in the private sector. Yeah, uh, coming here to talk about entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. coming to talk about leadership. I yeah. think it's something that uh, I advise that entrepreneur get some tips. Yeah. Number two, mm -hmm. uh, we are willing. Yeah. to train uh, small to medium enterprises mm -hmm. in various aspects when it comes to marketing. Uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. And uh, as, as I said earlier, again, mm -hmm. uh, working with CAM on this jointly yeah. will be very important so that we get the numbers mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, to train okay. uh, because we want them to be able to sell their products out of the country. Mm -hmm. We want the brands to be felt mm -hmm. uh, you know, throughout Africa, probably at the West as well and uh, Middle East and uh, Asia. Okay. I have uh, just, uh, the same no person problem. has asked two questions. No eh? So Eric Onyango is asking, how can small businesses survive in doing their sales in times of pandemic like COVID-19? <laughs> how they can survive? Yeah, how they can survive? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more of advice. What can you tell yeah. them? Uh, it was a challenge to everyone. Uh, remember, it was the first time. Yeah. We've never experienced this. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, people did not know what to do. Yeah. And actually, we should count ourselves lucky. Mm -hmm that we were able to learn, it hit us, I think we were the last to be hit. Yeah. So we were able to learn what was happening in, the, in Europe, Yes. what was happening so in Asia. So you could see it coming. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this thing of uh, tracking yeah. and isolation. Yeah. You can imagine it started here. And, ooh. Huh? <laughs> it should have been tough. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who could come, uh, I mean, probably from the West or wherever this, yeah. uh, this uh, uh, organization would come and help us. So mm. it was a challenge for everyone. Yeah. Uh, but again, pandemic has also taught us, taught us so many things about uh, marketing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. People went to digital marketing. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, during that time, you could see a lot of deliveries. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a lot of. Uh, uh, I don't want to mention, but uh, in generally, yeah. You know, people were delivering uh, their products. Uh huh. Uh, uh, you know, you know, you could pay something online and get it delivered. And yeah. Again, that would also depend on uh, uh, some place you know, or a shop, or a branch you know, or uh, yeah. because of the trust mm -hmm. and uh, credibility issues. Okay. The digital marketing, marketing really worked. That's where uh, brands went to push their products. Okay. Uh, remember, as I told you earlier, and mm -hmm. that is small to medium enterprises. Mm -hmm. The big, the big guys, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they have a lot of money in their reserves. Mm. to boost the business Absolutely. yeah in Absolutely. case of anything yeah and they were probably some of them were not able to cut the marketing department but a mm -hmm. small to medium enterprises mm -hmm. especially even those who have marketing department, they had to cut yeah uh, marketing mm -hmm. and probably it's because of lack of knowledge people didn't know what to do people were like uh, you know people are not going to buy yeah uh, and you realize uh, you realize that um, during pandemic mm -hmm. uh, there's I think alcohol was selling a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that was but the product. Take homes, eh? And food. <laughs> and yeah, food, food definitely, and yeah. Food. Actually, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, suppliers car boots, and providers of... You could yeah. see car boots everywhere. Everywhere, you know, man. In everywhere. fact, there was a boom in that. Yeah. Eh? And, and remind me, supermarkets were closed during that time? 
No, they were not, but there was a way, there was a way of uh, buying. I think uh, they had times, they would close early a bit, yeah? but there was a lot of online buying as well. Online buying, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so... Um, the Buddha Buddha's gained a lot. Yeah, they gained a lot. Yeah. And actually, yeah. uh, what probably we didn't realize, probably yeah. some entrepreneurs realized, uh, that was the time to start uh, Buddha Buddha uh, business. business. <laughs> <laughs> In terms of setting it up as There's a always an opportunity. And also, you know, employing these people so that they can deliver. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah, courier services. Yeah, courier services yeah. So Eric Onyango had two questions and, yeah. and, and they would be fair for him. So there are so many issues of scammers, business, businesses online, scam business online, eh? mm -hmm. pretending to be selling online. How can we identify them? Thank you so much. Yeah. Remember what I talked about yeah. in our act? Yeah. Um, uh, we have a feeling that, uh, you know, the businesses that are online needs to be vetted and yeah. be authenticated mm -hmm. by a third party. Mm -hmm. And that's why MSK yeah. would come in. Mm -hmm. Now, if we also uh, communicate out there mm -hmm. that don't buy anything online mm -hmm. until probably you go through our website and see whether the company is listed yeah. to be selling the product, that will enable us uh, to avoid, uh, you know, uh, scamming. But yeah. again, uh -huh. it, it's really challenging. Uh -huh. Let me tell you something. Uh -huh. We use technology to provide security yeah. and we also use uh, technology to breach that security mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay that's true uh, i mean uh, someone can start up uh, a similar organization mm -hmm. it will take people a long time to understand and yeah. it has happened before yeah especially these concerts that are coming mm -hmm. you find there's a, a site where people buy tickets yeah someone will just do, replicate just a similar site <laughs> same thing <laughs> same thing okay with some changes so that you can get the domain okay? yeah yeah and then by the time you realize mm -hmm. that there's something that, i mean uh, you also have a similar a different site, not your site now also uh, selling tickets. Yeah. Uh, you know, your, the money is gone mm -hmm. and you have to be accountable because people came because of your, of your, your concert. Absolutely. Yeah, so mm -hmm. uh, scammers will be there. They will be they there. They will be there. <laughs> uh, and uh, this is something that we have to live with. Yeah. It's a criminal offense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so anyone who is doing that is a criminal. Yeah. So, and that happens every day in our everyday life. You're right. So it will be there. The only thing is that uh, people need to be skeptical mm -hmm. on who they trade with online. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who who knows? Uh, and actually, people now go for referrals. I know that company. Uh, you know that is selling uh, product. They've delivered. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And this is their pricing. Okay. At least that gives you confidence. Yeah. And in most cases. Uh, you'll find that these are people who have dealt with this particular business mm -hmm. either physically, yeah. okay, they visited their offices and they've seen what, mm -hmm. you know, and also using influencers, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you cannot be an influencer of a particular company if they're scamming people. Yeah, that's yeah. true. So that's, that's another way, okay, mm. the business they need to yeah. look into. Even the ethics of it, yeah. they can mess you up yeah, as an influencer. Yeah, as Absolutely. An influencer. So, yeah. uh, there are several ways through which that can be avoided, but okay. we have a clause in our act, okay. and hopefully it passes through parliament. Okay. Uh, things will be good. We will be safer. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, I think there's, it's called the consumer what? We have the authority. Mm -hmm. this kind yeah, of part of the consumer something authority, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, th they should be responsible for that, yeah. uh, as in, uh, you know, cracking uh, yeah. the whip in the market okay. uh, for people who are selling online, either yeah. through... Uh, verification, authentication. Mm -hmm. You can imagine you are going to a website mm -hmm. and you see them, they say, okay, Marketing Society of Kenya uh, verified. Mm -hmm. And when you click there, you're able to go to It'll be very to nice. a website. Yeah, you'd feel safe. So you, you, you feel safe. Mm -hmm. This is someone, this is a trusted yeah. source. Okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's what we are trying to work on uh, with, our, with our bill. We have a clause. Hopefully okay. it goes through. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to a few more people. Steve Kiok, thanks so much. I can see you're tuned in. Eric Ching says, say hi to Mr. Osu. I think that person knows you. Um, uh, yeah, okay. now, Mushiri Ekehio is the last question I'll take from her. No says this, eh? Yeah. First of all, you're apologizing because you were late for class. Why did you sleep today? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is key marketing? Awareness or solutions? This is a tough one. I don't even know. S what you? <laughs> like, what is key marketing? Or what's key marketing? Awareness or solutions. Hey, that's a tough one, Mushiri. What are you asking? Uh, uh, but hmm. do you get what they're saying? No, Maybe you can try it's cracking. Yeah, but let me let me just try. Yeah. Uh, key marketing, mm -hmm. awareness, mm -hmm. or solutions. Or solution. Mm. Uh, I think I've talked uh, uh, quite a little bit about uh, that. But yeah. This is how I'll address that. Yeah. He's talking about solutions to marketing. Uh -huh. okay, we've talked about uh, okay. market segment. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. We've talked about uh, you know. 
uh, have in marketing strategy. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. we've talked about uh, you know identifying the channel or the medium to be able to market your product yeah. or sell, push your brand. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So that is the solution. Mm -hmm. okay? yeah. Th that's what I would say. I don't really get uh, the first two, mm -hmm. but uh, no, it's okay. at least... Uh, <laughs> also, next time ask it more clear. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. I think we have to close now, Thank and you. I just want to close with uh, Eric Onyangos. Your question about what you can do to become more successful in starting a business, we have dealt with this before. I would want... I would Suggest to you to go back to one of our videos last year about entrepreneurship with James Karundu. That's going to be an amazing one for you because he started from scratch all the way up. Eh? But we shall be addressing more of that. Let me see if I've closed anyone else out. Oh, yeah. Thanks a lot. Everybody saying thanks a lot. Uh, Santi yes. Sana, guys. Uh, wow. I think there were so many nuggets that people got. Okay. Now, uh, ah, yeah, goodness, it's actually just four minutes to time. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Is that another question? No, 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 no. Okay, no, no. good. Yeah. Uh, I think the close would be what are the events that people can look out to, you know, uh, under you, under the MSK. Are there some events? I know, I know we have Vusi coming in around June. Yes. Is there any other thing that you uh, need? Thank you so much. Event? We have, I think there are around close to 30 events that Whoa. we have this year. <laughs> uh, we have this, uh, we, uh, we have the boot camp, a few. Okay. boot camp mm -hmm. seminars. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have around, I think, okay. for various levels, okay. Of business. It's all about yeah. marketing, covering different areas. Yeah. We also have, uh, you have the summit that yeah. we talked about, Wusi coming in yeah. June. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the first day will be the CEOs. Yeah. Uh, on entrepreneurship and leadership. Yeah. Then the second day will be Mombasa giving keynote speech and possibly giving leadership masterclass. Please uh, reach out to MSK. Yeah. You book your slot mm -hmm. because uh, this is not this is a hot cake. Nimoto. <laughs> Nimoto. Eh? <laughs> Nimoto. <laughs> then we have the conference. Yes. Uh, which uh, is going to be in October. Yeah. Twenty eighth and twenty. 20th and 20th, 27th and 28th. Okay. This is the second year. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm so sorry that uh, we did our first conference last year. Oh, and okay. the first conference we had over 130 people. Oh. Uh, over 100 people. We'll talk of 100 people okay. that attended. Okay. So we also have it. We mm -hmm. have Marketers Golf coming up yeah. in November. Mm -hmm. And also the prestigious awards gala. Mm -hmm. And I would add these SMEs to, uh, you know, to compete at the gala so that at least they get to learn yeah. uh, about marketing. How to develop their... Because we take people through training. Mm -hmm. how, mm -hmm. how do they develop uh, their yeah. campaigns mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. people are able to learn they're able to come and see the reasons why you know the big giants are winning or mid you get the point yeah i mean competing or competition is about learning it's mm -hmm. not about winning so mm -hmm. i would urge them mm -hmm. uh, but more so i think uh, as i said earlier uh, we are going to look at uh, ways of working with the kenya association of manufacturers yes so that we can be able to develop capacity okay. for the small to medium enterprises. Okay. So we have a lot of activities, and yes. this can be found on our website. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. And also based on the fact that I've already given my e uh, our email address, info at msk.co.ke. Yeah. Please reach out uh, mm -hmm. for more uh, for more information regarding the events that we have planned for this year. Yeah. All right. Thank Lovely. Now, thank you so much, Gashi. I can see you're telling people they are missing class. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mushiri, I think your question now was answered nicely in between. I think you picked it out well. I can see she was trying to clarify. Okay. Now, we have to come to a close, guys. It's uh, nine, a minute to nine, so we have to close. But really to appreciate you guys for tuning in and, of course, making sure that this is our number one online business show where we give time for businesses so that at least we can have sessions with it. I really want to appreciate your time, sir, for coming Thank in, you, you know. Yeah, and I'm, I, now I know, you know about the Market Society of Kenya now. Moving on, you cannot say you don't know. I, I'm looking for my quote that I put down to end with, and I try to bring it along with marketing. Yeah. And it's by a guy called Joe Chanov. Yeah. Listen to what he says. Good marketing makes the company look smart. Great marketing makes the customer feel smart. So it's more being customer centric, and I think that's a yes. lovely way to end yes. with it. Is it? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you've nailed it. <laughs> what did you say? You say you had you had a what? Uh, you so had a, a tangawizi chai. You had a tangawizi chai. Yeah. Let me see if I have a tangawizi right here. Uh, good. Uh, so I can give you one. Uh, no, I, I think I might throw you to try something different. I think no, the tangawizi no problem, was taken no problem. it. You can try masala, so you can start no, moving yeah, away yeah. from no, being too. <laughs> That's kind of thing of Melvin's tea, you know? Asante. And we really appreciate uh, for, for that, right? Asante, Sana. Okay. So, let, 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 oh, yeah, you, say, say, say. Is it, is it say your last word. Yeah, I'm closing. I'm about to close. No, no, Go no, on. No, yes. <laughs> oh, it's something different. <laughs> yeah, so no worries. So uh, there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Keep working.
keep tuning in tell a friend to tell a friend that this is the place to always come for sharpening yourself thank you so much best talks